Okay guys, here's another quick video to add to my other one to kind of explain what's going on. I went ahead and took my snow strut um, back apart. I was trying to avoid having to do that, but uh, on the first video to kind of give somebody something. But this way I'll show more, a little more detail in what was going on. I really wanted to talk to Alpha about this privately before uh, we got this posted up so that they could kind of fix this and get some corrections made. Okay, basically in short, this is what it is. Struts normally sits about like 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 so and what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to loosen this screw right here there's two little screws here on the side of this guy right here on there's one here one on the other side and then there's one in the back of this center collar right here you don't have to take the oleo trailing link apart and i'll explain this little piece i have right here in the front in just a minute um so with that said, what it does is it sits here, and with the stock strut sitting in here, the actual, when you replace the struts, this wheel on the new strut sits further forward and and higher. It sits out here just a little higher by about an eighth of an inch, and about an eighth of an inch further forward. That's why we're running into the, into the problems that the gear doors are closing on the wheel when the wheel retracts. It's because the oleo action on it has it extended too far forward, which as you see by, by me actuating it here, that it actually pushes it forward and it pushes it up. And that changes the geometry for right here, uh, as, a, as opposed to the fixed no strut. And what we need to do is force this oleo link down more, which forces the wheel back that direction and down. So that'll actually allow it to go into the wheel well a lot sooner and when it catches these doors, they'll close in behind it like it does with the with the fix fix strut. My spring keeps hanging up here. I did modify the spring just a little bit, and I'll explain some more on that later. I've done th I've done three things here. Let's take this apart and show you what I'm talking about. You can kind of see the internal guts. Like I said, you do not have to take apart the oleo action. You'll notice right here. Get my screwdriver in place here. That right there is the little, this is the piston that I'm talking about, and this hollow area right here is the travel link that is controlled by that screw right there that acts, acts as a stopper. I have some little metal pieces that look like this. And these are electronic standoffs for PCB boards, and what I've done is I took one of them, cut it, and ha cut it open right here with my Dremel tool, and then I slipped it around this shaft. Mine, these I have these just happen to fit perfectly inside diameter already as to what I already had, so I went ahead and used them. These you guys will have to find something else that will be a suitable substitute. And this thing is actually 3.1 millimeters thick that's how thick that is 3.1 millimeters, and actually, four millimeters would be better. I just happen to have these and use them, but you can see where I've put mine on there, right there on the above this which limits this travel action and it forces the strut to compress further and then I had to file it down so that it's the same outside diameter and um, allows the piston to travel a little bit that was just a, a matter of grinding on a on a grinding wheel and some emery cloth polishing it so that it put on there but as you can see here I'll spin it around see where I actually cut it open slipped it over the shaft and put a little CA in there to hold it in place and then I polished it and so that it would go back into the strut here on top of that I also cut a few coils out of the spring here I think it was like about five or eight of them to uh, loosen it up just a little bit thought it was just a little too stiff and that's what I did there but so I put that on there now I compress the strut down all the way and then tighten this screw so that that stopper is now down here and it limits the amount that this can travel back and keeps the wheel further back as you can see when I do it as I, as I actuate it here that allows it to sit further back so that it'll go into the wheel well deeper I still have oleo action on it or compression on there I just lose about an, I, well actually I lose 3.1 millimeters of travel length in my nose strut uh, because of that but now my doors gear door is closed I also added some washers under the front here. I was able to get it to work without those washers, but it was very close, and I went ahead and added some additional washers underneath the retract unit 
to kind of set it back. We've all done it with several of our planes to get rake, forward rake on them. And I did the same thing here, which doesn't deter too much from the scale looking forward rake that this plane looks good with. So now it actually all works. And I bent, stretched, and bent this spring so that it would sit a little lower here because it engages on the strut right in here. And it was prematurely engaging it and clamping down around the wheels. So between this, the change in the oleo distance travel, which forces the wheel back, and a little bit of step up right here with some washers, now it closes just like it did when it was in the stock format with the fixed wheel. This screw right here was a little bit long, so I filed a few thousands off of it because it actually holds the spring right here. This goes against it, but when you tighten it down all the way, it actually clamps the strut down and you don't have any action, so you have to back it off. But I, if I backed it off even just a little bit, this was tending to pop off and I wanted it down tight. So I did have to kind of draw file this screw down just, uh, like I said, just a few thousandths so that when I can tighten it, it doesn't clamp on the piston that's inside right there. But that's all it takes. To change out of the strut, you don't even have to take the retract apart. All you got to do is loosen the grub screws right here on the original one. And you put it right down on top of the original steering arm. Easy go. Of course, you do have to take this off. Screw here, screw here. Same thing in the front. Disconnect this. This plastic piece comes out to allow you to get to the retract unit. And they're an easy change out from that standpoint. But the nose gear needs all this changing done right here in order to have the mechanical operation work like it did with the uh, fixed strut. So anyway, I hope that helps everybody. I'll take this out again, kind of set my camera down on it, let you see what I'm talking about. You'll have to find something equivalent to this. Let's slip the piston out here. That you can put a stopper in this piston right in here to limit this travel movement, which will keep this wheel further back in that direction and down. And that's, that's the little guy that I used right there. So I stack up some washers or something to that effect. This piece right here is actually machined on here like a wheel collar type situation. If they had made it bigger like this, if we, we wouldn't be having this problem right here. Like I said, this distance plus the 3.1 millimeters this is. And I wish this had been 4 millimeters. If it had been 4 millimeters, it had popped out here a little, a little more. And I wouldn't have had to actually put the washers under the retract unit to add the additional travel backwards. Um, so, but I'm not going to take it any further than I've already done it. And then basically you reassemble it back on. Put your screws back into this guy right here, the one in the back. You tighten down this. You do have to compress the strut when you're tightening the screw from the front. So that it's in here and it doesn't clamp down on these guys. So compress the strut and then tighten this guy down around the spring. Make sure your oleo's action is working. I hope that helps everybody. Got any questions? I was just talking to a few on the phone a minute ago while I was try trying to make this video earlier to help explain this. And uh, Alpha, you need to call me on this, see if we can't get this this guy right here uh, for the other stretch. There's this might help right now because everybody's going to run into this problem uh, that I see. So thanks a lot. You guys have a great day. Glad I was able to help. Um, See you guys on the groups. Have a good one and Merry Christmas, everybody.